Okay, I'm going to show you how to thread the top part of the machine. And, you, you know, I got all this right from the manual, so if, if you go through your manual and study it, you'll have no trouble. This is just sort of a, a quick demonstration of how it works and how easy it is to thread this particular machine. First thing you want to do is get your thread, and you got to make sure your thread is in, in the correct position. Uh, position because you know you can put your thread in this way, you can put it in this way, but it's important that it's coming out uh, on this side of the spool when you put it in. So take this and you stick it on the place where the thread goes. I, there's probably a name for that. I don't know what it is. And you take your thread and there's a little diagram right here on the machine that shows you uh, that's for the, sorry, that's for bobbin winding. This one's for the actual threading of the machine and shows you how it goes into this gizmo. And you can see that it goes under this first arm and then it goes up over the top of, of the second arm that way. Once you've got it thread through the top then the machine also shows you, it has little numbers, so this is one, two shows you that the thread goes down here, three shows you that the thread comes up, and four is up here, it's a little tricky, but you can see in here, there's a little arm that grabs the thread, and it's got a little catch on it, so that if you, let me show you again, if you pull the thread towards this direction, the arm will actually catch the thread automatically. Then you pull it right back down where it says 5. After 5 there's no more numbers on the machine because now you're working down in here where the needle is and you have to be careful not to have your foot on the foot pedal at this point because you could really hurt yourself if that needle comes down on you while you're doing this. Now, um, you want to make sure your needle's in the up, the most upright position uh, that you can get it, um, so it, it's not going to go down or up any further. Um, and then, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do before I do it. I'm going to catch the thread back behind this little bar here, and then I'm going to push it through the needle from the front to the back. And then after that, we put it under the presser foot, and we're good to go. So conceptually, that's what we're doing. So the first thing I'm going to do, and this is kind of tricky. In the manual, it gives you a good hint. You, if you pull your thread out over to this direction, and you slide, you can slide the thread up under that little bar. So uh, it goes back behind that bar. Then the cool feature of this particular machine is it's got a needle threader on it and for people like me with bad eyes, good horrible eyes, uh, this is really really cool. And this this threader is this little thing that kinda comes down like this. That's not too clear on the manual but I figured it out that this is the threader. Okay. Uh, what you want to do here is you're gonna take and pull your threader down and then while you're doing that, oops, kind of hard to do from this angle, catch it, catch the thread back behind this little metal piece. Then make sure the threader is up against your needle over here. And what you're just going to do is lift your thread up against the needle so it catches this little part of the threader. And you'll feel it when it happens. It's, the, it's like a little hook, and you're trying to catch the thread on that little hook, and the hook's going to pull it through the needle. And you can see that it did. And all you have to do at that point to get the thread through is just pull it through. And I have a lot of thread here. <laughs> so now it's, it's threaded. The needle is threaded. And then, before you start sewing, you want to make sure that you keep your thread down and underneath the presser foot, and you, there's a little groove in the foot just to guide you there. 